calls. So that's yeah. not very- Oh, there's the yeah. recording. So Amanda, <laughs> I'm just going to give a little brief intro. Um, so, cause there are, uh, there is somebody here that I'm, think is new so um, but also people watch this long into the future weeks and years so ladies and gentlemen my name is Sharon Whiteman and I partner with Diana and Gary and each and every one of you um, in aid of a a company and a product and a technology and a mission that we're all very proud of and hand on heart would um, you know fight to the death so to speak for for what we believe in and, and what our experiences have been today we're very privileged to have Amanda Luttrell She's a bronze presidential, joined Manatech in October 1996, and after a 15-year career with the bank, where she had worked as an account manager, she once saw the company had discovered and patented, She once she saw what the company discovered and patented, she was hooked. She went full-time with her Manatech business in 1997, and she hasn't looked back. She has built a multi-million dollar business and now teaches and trains others so that they can enjoy the life they dream of. Amanda is also a motivational speaker. She has traveled all over North America building her business and training for Manatech. She is a natural optimist and believes that everyone can be successful with their business if their desire is strong enough and if they are persistent and consistent. She's told that her enthusiasm is contagious and she uses that gift to inspire and motivate others. She is committed to excellence and winning and wants all Manatechers Manatechers to find the same success she has. Amanda is an amazing ambassador. She has developed a new 15 minute introductory video that's well, this is new a while ago, and we'll be able to offer that to you as well. But today we're focusing on mindset and the importance of that in your goals in partnership with Mantec, whatever they are. So, Amanda, I will just turn my camera off, but I'll be right here um, if and when you need me. Well, thank you, Sharon. And I've got to say, it's always my pleasure to come on your calls. Um, I love your team. By the way, whoever's in charge of Australia, tell them you want me down there because I will come. I've never been to Australia. And that's my next phase is to go and see Europe and Australia and all these wonderful countries that Manatech is in. So um, as Sharon said, I've been around the company well for almost 28, 29 years now. I honestly have never lost my enthusiasm for both Manatech and network marketing, the, the freedom that it gives you and the life that it gives you. And um, we've, we've had quite a discussion just before the call and I'm 70 years old, I feel 20. I know I don't look 70. Thank you, Manatech. <laughs> Thank you, the products. Um, but I will share this with you to get a little personal is that I had been struggling for about the last, I don't know, six months to a year. Should I be still working? Why am I still working? Um, 70, we don't have to. Paul and I, have, you know, we reached our financial goals. We've got the freedom. You know what? I had, we did three months in Mexico and I, I was building my business down there. But I also had time to reflect on, is this what I want to do? Like sit around and sit around, <laughs> play volleyball once in a while and that. And no, you know what? I love Manitech. I love this business so much. I love what I do. I love all of you. I love um, knowing that I've got the chance to help other people bring them hope and bring them the lifestyle that I've been so lucky to attain. And here's the beautiful part for anyone that's new on the call. This is achievable for anybody. This is this is something you can do. It just, if you don't know how, that's the beauty. We train you. So today is on mindset. And that really probably is the most near and dear subject to me because I know that's where it all starts. So here's what we know. We know we've got the best products in the world. And I'm not even kidding. Like that's true. They are the Rolls Royce of products. They make a difference. We have a huge money back guarantee. You couldn't do that if they didn't work. The company's been around for 30 years. We've got patents. We've got everything to back us to say those two things are covered. The company and the products are covered. So the next piece of the puzzle is you. And it's, I've, I've read so many books in the last just few months, last few weeks, actually. One was called Turning Pro. And that was one recommended by our CEO. And I'd love to read. I love to learn. I'm addicted to learning. And in that book, 
the most important line that I heard was people don't have success because they're worried what other people are thinking. And I just, when I read that, I thought, oh my gosh, that is so true and so tragic. Because guess what? Other people really aren't thinking about you from morning till night. They are thinking about themselves, their own life, what's going on for them. You know, how can they have a better life, whatever. They're not thinking about you. And then all these people are carrying this big burden thinking, I can't share this because I'm afraid of what that person's going to think. Like maybe they won't like the business I'm in. Maybe they won't think the products work. A million things in your mind. So we're going to talk about mindset today. And I've only made headlines. So I'm just going to speak from my heart, from me to you. I want you to really hear me. So first of all, um, the, all the many books that I've read, here's what we know. Our minds are just computers. It's like a computer. And we just have to process the right information in there to get the best results. Now, unfortunately, life uh, programs a whole lot of negative things. Nobody really means to, but it just happens. And it starts when you're very little, starts in school, starts with your parents, um, your peers, all sorts of people, not meaning to program your mind in a negative way. It just happens. It's just life. So we've got to be very diligent in how we reprogram what we want. And so I want you to understand that. That's when we, when we talk about goal setting and saying them every day and, you know, trying to believe them. That is because you're, you're having to reprogram your brain. And that's the truth. Honestly, I've read hundreds of books on this. I'm just so, in, um, I just find it so, so interesting. So, so program your brain. Why is it important? What's going to make a difference to your whole life? That's, that's why it's important. So when we talk about goals, what you're actually doing, let's say that you decide you want to be a, I'm going to say presidential because I can't think of the other, the other levels right now. But let's just say that you are wanting to be a presidential in Manitou, which is a really good level to be. It's a nice, nice income, nice, you'll be very comfortable in life if you can get the presidential. So if you're saying that to yourself, you've got to um, have your brain believe it because here's what happens. When you start telling your brain what you want, why you want it, when you want it, your brain is going to get the work for you. It's going to say, oh, she wants, she's got a goal here. We got to try and make that happen. So, you know, here's a, here's a little example. Let's say you wake up in the morning and you, you just feel like rotten. You, you wake up and you just think, oh, it's going to be a really horrible day today. I just know it. I'm tired. I feel cranky. Your brain's going, hey, okay, she wants a rotten day. Let's bring up everything we can think of to make sure that we reach that goal of having a rotten day today. Or on the contrary, you wake up and you go, oh, I woke up, that's good. <laughs> I'm here. And I want to have a, I'm going to have the best day. The sun's shining. I feel happy. Got some energy happening here. I think it's going to be a really good day. Your brain goes, okay, let's get to work. Um, what are all the good memories we can bring? What, what things can we bring to the table that will make sure that Ananda has a great day today? And I, I'm not kidding. This is. I'm not saying it in a scientific way or the, maybe the proper way, but I'm telling you, this is factual. This honestly is how it works. So when we talk about goal setting and mindset, goal setting, um, I'll tell you a quick story. This is a fun story. I, when I first started Manitech, I did everything I was told. I was very coachable. So when they said, you've got to do your list, you've got to do your goals, and then you've got to visualize your perfect day, and then you've got to you know, what kind of a car do you want? And so I, I did all of those things. I did exactly what I was told because I really wanted to succeed. So I honestly made up a car in my head. I thought, well, I want a BMW. And I visualized it. And it, this was navy blue. And it was beige interior, bucket seats. And I literally 
I wasn't one to look around at cars, not that cars were a big deal, but I thought, well, they told me I should, you know, have a nice car. So maybe I want one, that'd be nice. And um, so honestly, I, we, we used to have a car bonus back then. I went looking for a car, didn't know what I wanted. Well, I knew what I wanted, but I didn't really know for sure, you know, where I'd find it. So I did go to the BMW um, outlet. That was probably a good idea. But honestly, this guy was showing me different cars. And I thought, oh, this is a great big black one. No, I don't like that. It's too big. It's too, blah, you know. And he's showing me this, showing me that. And then he says, well, we, we've got one that just came in. It's not cleaned up. I shouldn't be showing it to you. But, you know, let's go and have a look. I kid you not. We walked out. There was my car. Navy blue, tan interior, bucket seats. I had determined how much I wanted to spend per month on my payment because it had been used for a demo. It had 11, it was 11,000 kilometers on it. Not much. It wasn't, but it wasn't brand spanking new. So then it wasn't classed as a um, premium car or something. There was something that would have got an extra tax on it. The payment was exactly what I was prepared to pay. It was mind blowing. So I just want you to know this stuff works. So, um, so we're talking about goals. So number one, first thing you need to do right now, this day is make a decision. So I'm sure many of you have been here um, probably for a long time, like me, you know, I've been here for 27, 28 years. I don't know how long, you know, I see a nice little, I see a nice crowd here today, uh, how long you've been around, but don't worry about the past, okay? Today's new day, you get to start fresh. It's a new year. I've been to the presidential meeting in uh, Seattle just a few weeks ago, and what's coming forward is so exciting. So just start fresh today. But the first thing you have to do is make a decision. You have to decide, are you, are you going forward here or are you not? So first make a decision, then have clarity around exactly what do you want to see over the next 12 months for yourself and your business? You really have to nail that down. So, you know, they, I've just been doing a lot of stuff on goal, on goal setting. So it's, um, you know, make it something that's exciting for you. Make it achievable, but a stretch, right? So, um, you know, sit down with your upline or this group here. Maybe you could have a little session or wait while well, you're going to be doing something in a couple of weeks together as a big group. That'll be very exciting. Um, but decide what it is you want. Clarity on why do you want that? Really be clear on that. And then have intention. So if you have, if you make a decision, you've got clarity on what you want because your brain's asking, what do you want? What am I supposed to do here? Help me. Um, so you've got to tell your brain what it is you want, when you want it, why you want it, and then you've got to have the intention to create it. So I, I want to tell you, I won't spin my computer around because I might, who knows what will happen, but right above my desk is the biggest sign. It's about three feet long, two feet high. It says silver presidential intention. I can and I will. So that is right above my window. And we've got a Peloton back here. When I'm on my Peloton, when I'm doing my workout, I can look up there and I know every minute of every day what my goal is, what my intention is. And um, so I've got real clarity. I've made my decision and I've got intention. So um, what I want to share with you today too is a book that it's a really good book. It's called Your Best Year Ever. And Your Best Year Ever by Michael Hyatt. And so what he talks about in there, it's, it's just a really good learning book. At the end of each chapter, he's got things for you to do, which I really like that, it's a real workbook. But so each chapter has a, um, you know, obviously a step, step-by-step -step program for you. So the first one is number one, believe in the possibility. So we've kind of covered that a little bit, believe in the possibility. Here's what I always thought and what I know. When I look at a goal for myself, I think to myself, well, somebody else did it, so I can do it. I mean, I've got all, you know, I've got all the things I need to do it. 
So it's it's achievable. So therefore, it's doable. And when so when I first joined Manatech, oh man, I wanted to be a presidential so bad I could taste it. And I knew I was going to be. I knew I was going to be. But that's what I look at. I look at, well, if other people have done it, then I can do it. So believe in the possibility is um, step number one. Now, something I just read, that it was so funny. I read it just a couple of days ago, and I thought, I think I needed to hear this for this call today with, uh, with all of you. And that was in this other book I'm reading, Seeds of Greatness, Seeds of Greatness by Dennis Waitley. Um, he said, besides thinking about what you want, et cetera, think about your natural talents. Like, um, not everybody's got all the talent. You know, you can't, some people just have this and some people have that. So what are your natural talents? So think about that as being part of your plan. Look at what are you really good at? Some things you're not so great at. Not, not We can't all be good at everything. That's just not the way it works. So as you're making your goals and looking at your strategies, et cetera, Look at what are your natural talents and then look at who's on my team and maybe fill in for where I'm not as natural. So I'll tell you about me. I found, I don't know why people find me very trustworthy when I speak and they can relate to me. That, so that's a talent that I got. I don't know how, probably from 28 years I have to do presentations, but I'm not good at administration stuff. I hate it. I hate reading instructions. Uh, I hate being told what to do. So, you know, I know my weaknesses and I know my strengths. So I'm finding, I'm gonna run with my strengths, enjoy my strengths, and I'm gonna maybe help, somebody else can help me with, um, with the other things that I, I'm not good at and I don't care to get good at. And there's always somebody to fill that slot for you because we are a team after all, right? Now, another, the next, the second chapter on this is, in this book, complete the past. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, how would I explain this without? Well, I'll tell you guys. Just don't tell anybody. It's my son. <laughs> he and his wife bought a property, and their intention was to fix it up and flip it, and you know, do do really well on this whole thing. Well, what happened was right in the middle of it, the whole market changed. It changed overnight. Homes dropped by around here, a million dollars. Um, and so they had, they got caught in this, this trap of the timing of getting rid of the, um, getting rid of the product, the house that they had fixed up. So it's been hard for them and watching their struggle. But I know that the struggle is a lesson in success because I'm older and wiser and I've read all these books. So what I said to my son, you know what, Darcy, you've got to look at complete the past. I'm just reading it in this book today. And I always share this stuff with my kids. I said, last year was, you would feel like it was a disaster. It was hard. It was hard on the family. They moved into this house that was just horrible. And they had a beautiful house before that. Um, I said, you've got to complete the past. You've got to complete last year. You've got to look at the wins and the losses. And and take that as your lessons. And they learned more lessons than you can possibly believe. They learned about financing and how to get mortgages. And, and the kids learned that life isn't a bowl of cherries. Like sometimes mom and dad make a mistake and they have to move from a beautiful house into a, this other place. And there was so many lessons there. So what they had to do was complete the past. They had to look at that year and say, okay, what did we learn? What have we gained? And you know what? They've gained more than they can possibly, possibly, possibly imagine. So I want you to do with that, that with your year. Look back. What was the last 12 months? What, what were the good? What were the bad? What did you learn? What can you take forward? So complete the past. Next step, design your future, of course. And again, I think when we say complete the past, I think complete the past period with your Manatech career, with being with the company, with being in network marketing, complete the past, know what you know. I'll tell you what, we've, we've got the gift. Like my story now is to give the gift of hope, give the gift of hope for, for income and health. What's more important? And then M5M is just a bonus. That's the way I can see it. So to design your future, you've got to know what do you want? Um, what, do you, what do you want to achieve? 
and then write it down. It's important to write your goals. I can't emphasize that enough because it's um, telling your brain, this is what she wants. This is what we, how we want to get there. This is our goal. Okay. So that's really important. And then they say, find your why. And, you know, you've heard that like a million times and you're probably sick to death of thinking about that, but it is so important. Like I had to find my why in the last couple of years um, because my why had changed substantially from when I started, obviously, all those years ago. So I found my why and it's just fulfilling me like crazy. My why is to give people hope. I've got all this knowledge I've got this company, we've got the product. No matter how many people I can help going forward, like that excites me. And so you've got to find your why. Now there's a little ex exercise you can do to find your why. And this has been documented more than once. Might take, might have to get somebody to help you with this. But you ask yourself seven times, why do you want to do that? Oh, Sharon, you're so cute. I've got goosebumps, she says. Okay, so you ask yourself why. So let's just say, okay, why? I want to make, usually it starts out with money in your first um, goal setting. I want to make 3000 a month, let's say. <clears throat> why do you want 3000 a month? Well, <clears throat> it would, um, would help me pay my bills, would really make a difference in my life. Why do you want to pay your bills? Well, I'm sick of waking up in the middle of the night worrying about my visa bill. It's just always at its max. And why is that important to you? Well, if I could pay off my visa bill, I could then have extra money to go on holidays. Well, why is that important? Well, I want to take my kids to Disneyland. Why is that important? Well, I want my kids to have a really, really, really good time and see that money can provide a nice holiday that they hear about and have never been able to go. Why is that important? I'm just going to make this last line up. I wouldn't get choked up on it, but because I want them to know they've got a good mom that loves them dearly and wants them to have the best life. So see, you went from making 3000 a month to, I want my kids to know I'm a great mom. So if you ask yourself, and they say not six times, not eight times, it's seven is the number. And I thought that was interesting because you know, you always hear about seven in the world. Set the seventh wave is the big one and seven days in a week. And seven is a number. So seven apparently is the magical number to ask yourself why you want that. And then number five is just like, make it happen. Make it happen. You have it in your control. It's, it's within your control to make it happen. So I'm going to tell you something that um, I'm doing right now. And it's it's out of my comfort zone. I am telling you it is out of my comfort zone, but I'm forcing myself. I'm going to start, I'm learning social media. And um, that means I'm, I've got to go out there and make posts and make, oh, it's like there's a whole program that I'm doing with uh, Fraser Brooks right now. And it's not easy for me, but I'm mature enough and I've read enough books to say, quit saying that, just go do it. So I am, I'm just going, and I'm just doing it. And I've been making live posts when we were in Hawaii a few weeks ago and I was walking the beach and telling stories and, and I don't know if I'm supposed to post them on my reel or my story or my Instagram story or where the heck it's supposed to go. But I'm just doing it and I'm, I'm making mistakes and I'm doing things wrong and I just don't care. I'm going to do it. I'm going to learn it and I'm going to get this nailed. And so I've made the decision and and then I'm and I'm making it happen. And I will learn it. And it just it gets you into um, activity. And so that I'm now more active when I'm out and about, like I'm at the bank and I I talk to one of the tellers. I'm because I'm in the zone and because I'm looking for new product takers and new business partners, because I've told my brain that's what I'm doing, all of a sudden things just start to happen. People just start to show up. It's just it's the same concept as if you said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy myself a new red BMW. And all of a sudden, every second car is a BMW flying by you. And they're all red. <laughs> you know, it's your, there's actually a reactivator or something or rather, there's a name for it. And when, when you're looking for something, 
Someone can somebody put that down if they know it. They probably do. Yeah. If um, it's reticular you, activating system. That's exactly what it is. That's, <laughs> that's thanks, Rhonda. Really, that's right. What it and it works. It's crazy. Like my husband and I. One night, Paul woke up twice in a row, and the clock was at three three three. And so he thought, well, this is really weird. Why would I wake up at 333 in the morning twice in a row? So we Googled it. And this is a little bit woo-woo for maybe some of you, but it says it's your angels are letting you know that they're there watching over you. Well, ever since he's done that, it's 333 here, it's 333 there, it's 333 everywhere. I've got a bracelet here now, a uh, beautiful bracelet. And on it, I've got, I put three little charms. And it's uh, it's 333. Three, three. I got 333 three, three there. Why not? Why not go with it? So, um, but that's the way your brain works. Because I'm looking for 333 three, three now, I see it on license plates. I see it in my bank account. I see it on a receipt from the store. It's just insane. So if you put it out to the universe, you are looking for $3,000 a month and you're going to do it through Manatech and you're looking for product takers and business people, guess what? miracles will happen. So that's about all I've got. If, if people want q and A, I'm happy to help with that. Um, Sharon, I wasn't sure how long we were taking, but I just made my notes and I just thought I'm just gonna speak from my heart and we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, that, that you can say that better. It's a half an hour of heart. Um, does anybody have any questions? Because we don't, you know, feel the hour or anything like that. This would be a fantastic 30 minutes to listen to again and again. I bet you people will want to do that. So um, does anybody have a question for Amanda out of this content today? There's a Q&A or there's the chat, whichever you prefer. I mean, I think for this topic that's standalone, they can walk away and um, do it. I've, I've actually copied the link to that book for my kids. I've got teenagers. Could you imagine the impact on teenagers if they even had a, a gl glimpse at this, you know? You know what? That's, that is probably my biggest bugaboo, Sharon, is that I didn't know this stuff when I was mom raising my, my kids, right? I just, and that's, yeah. you know, what's really cool right now is now that I'm going on social media, my kids are seeing what I do and, and they're saying to me, oh, mom, that was such a good point you brought up, like that, 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 that. And, Here's another one. I'm telling you, probably this is more important. This Seeds of Greatness. Um, I'm not through it yet, but it's fantastic. Seeds of Greatness, Dennis Waitley. Uh, the 10 Best Kept Secrets of Total Success. It's a bit more of a heavy read. It's a heavier read. Your best year ever is, is really easy reading and easy to implement. This one is for people that really like to read and learn. Um, they're both good, but yeah, if we knew this when we were raising our kids, my, my kids would have had a lot better chance. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Absolutely. So every, most people are saying that, you know, 30 minute review would be fantastic. But one question, do you work with all your new associates in this way, this kind of training? Well, actually, you know what? I don't have a lot of new associates. Um, I've got my same team that I've been working with for quite some time. And I haven't. I haven't been actively recruiting business partners. Um, so no. Say that's, no, that's not true. That is not true. I've brought some on and we just haven't, well, I, because I was in Mexico for three months, so that's where I brought some on. And it was really unfortunate that I left when I did and I didn't get a chance to work with them. But um, I think that what I would do with a, a new person, once they really were embracing it and really ready to rock and go forward, I would do the old fashioned way of, of talking to their warm market. Like a lot of what I do now, what I'm doing is because I've been here for so long and I've talked to, you know, most people in my warm market, I would just be having them make a list of, we're using rapid funnel. I don't know if you've got that. Sharon, do you have rapid funnel? We, we, we see it online, but we don't, um, haven't had a training on it yet here. Yeah, it's it's not hard to it's not really hard to use. It's an easy way to send information out and quickly. And people are all want everything quick today. So it's still to me, your very best market is warm market. Um, 100%, no doubt about that. So what you try to do when you're doing things in social media and all that is um, get to know them and try to become their friends. But 
But this kind of training, what we were doing today, this mindset training, uh, yeah, I've done this for years. I, I just, it's my um, passion is mm. mindset, belief, you can do it, da, 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 you know, yeah. And so if you had someone long distance in, well, there's a specific question about Mexico because somebody has team there. How would um, this person best find out how things work in Mexico and the best way to support someone long distance there? Well, I'm trying to do that myself right now. So what I did do is I learned the comp plan is a little different than ours at the, the front end of it. Um, they've made a little bit of a retail business for the people in, in Mexico so that they can get cash in their hands um, right away because, you know, money's tight there. And then the, then the rest of the comp plan works the same way. But you know what? Okay, the difference with Mexico that I found is that, and I was told this by Olga, who's in charge of Mexico and Latin America as they're opening there. Um, the Mexican people are more touchy-feely, hands-on. So they're going to be wanting to taste the product. They want you to sit down in their home and experience the product. And um, belly to belly is the way to go there. Like they are, you know, it was so interesting. When we were in Mexico, every single person we passed would say, hola, buenos dias, you know, good morning. Every person. Paul and I were in Hawaii a few weeks ago. Nobody talked to you. It was very interesting. So the people in Mexico are, are warm and friendly and lovely. And you've got to be talking sincerely with your heart. And, and they like to experience the product. So they'll probably have home parties and, and taste things the way we used to, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Bring the humanity into it. Mm. So Amanda, what would you like to leave us with today for Australasia? Okay. Here's what I want to say. Because I'm really close to head office and I know people in head office, et cetera. This year we're going to be exploding. Manatech is going to be exploding. Um, they brought two guys on board. Can't remember the names. One was Steve. There's a Steve and another guy. And one is going to help transform the company. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it really, this, this guy really knows what he's doing. They're paying a lot of money to both these two. So one is about the company and how we do business and the tra transitioning the culture. company. Right. The culture maybe would be a good, yeah, good choice of words. The other guy, Steve, he's young, this good looking guy. Like we needed some young <laughs> people in there that know what's going on, right? And um, he's for product. And so he is gonna be developing, you know, short little videos that, that we can use with social media. He, he's, for his young age, he blows my mind how many companies he's either started himself or has taken other companies and grown them like crazy. He knows how to market the product. They know what, kind of products to get out there, you know, easy to use, see a difference right away kind of products so that we can grab people and then we can explain our more complicated products. So we know this is plan. coming. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you guys, put your, put your past behind you, draw a line in the sand, set your goals and get to work. That's what I, that's what I will say. And have intention, what are my words? Make a decision, have clarity, and intention. Amanda, God bless you. This is a fantastic recording. We'll have to get a word into Jenny's ear that this will be an important one to spread around to everyone. And um, God bless you. Have a great week. We'll My see you pleasure. Again. Thank you for having Thank me. You. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you. Bye. Bye.